A medicine woman who has spent years helping put food on the table for total strangers is now asking for the community's help. Jamie Prez introduces us to her and how you can help give back. Yeah, it's work getting set up. But it's got to be done. Sometimes life's greatest journeys okay. start in the darkest places. Um, we're open. The pantry is now in motion, as I say. <laughs> Deborah Childress sets up this pop-up food pantry out of her garage every Tuesday. Y'all come on down. Feeding those who need it most with her daughter's help. My mom, like, she breaks her back and, you know, her body down, like, doing this type of stuff. So, but it's kind of blessed at the same time because people, you know, have food on their table. For years, she's done this type of selfless work, bringing light to other people's lives. Because it's the calling that God has on my heart to serve and help his family, his children. A service she needed herself years ago when she was in her own dark place homeless. It's not easy. It's a struggle every day. Just to wake up is a struggle when you're in a homeless life. Feel like no one cares. You don't love yourself. On top of holding these Tuesday pantries, yeah. she now drives all around Madison, feeding those in need every day. I always love giving back to other people. To make me feel good, I service my community. And that just puts a smile in my heart and on my face. But two weeks ago, that car that she relied on to do this broke down on her and went up in smoke. Well, my GoFundMe goal is um, I'm asking for 5000 If more, that's a blessing. A woman who has given her all to the community for years is now asking for your help in return. Joe Mingle, who donates to her Tuesday food pantry every week, is hopeful the community helps her continue the journey she's on. Even in the coldest, harshest part of the winter, she's been out here feeding people setting things up so that we could do this pop-up mobile pantry in this parking garage. And I just hope folks out in the community will support her work because she's doing a lot of great stuff. Deborah is hopeful that her years of helping others will come back around to help fuel what she calls her ministry on wheels towards the brighter days ahead. I'm here to support in any way I can. In Madison, Jamie Perez. I'll be here till like 2.30, 2313, Outlaw Drive. Then, as y'all know, I got to move to the next spot. News 3 Now. And if you'd like to donate to Deborah's GoFundMe and help her get that van, we have a link to do that at channel3000.com.